plasma treatment is performed in a vacuum chamber in which air is let out and low pressure is created. The vacuum takes out some air particles, leaving room for the leftover particles to accelerate. Added heat creates pressure, causing high particle acceleration. At striking voltage, particle collisions occur, resulting in plasma. Our device consists of a vacuum pump, a magnetron, a thermocouple vacuum gauge, a variac, a meter, and everything is contained within the microwave. Shown here is the schematic for our device. To demonstrate our plasma treater, we're going to be treating a PDMS uh, surface, and PDMS is hydrophobic. So first, I'm going to place the PDMS on top of the two plates on the inside. Then I'm going to securely place the Pyrex container on top, right in the center. After that, I'm going to turn on the thermocouple vacuum gauge and turn on the vacuum and then wait about two minutes until the vacuum is under 100 millitor. So now that it's under 100 millitor, I'm going to turn on the timer for the microwave, which allows the variac to control its power. Then I'm going to turn on the variac, and plasma should strike at about 400 to 500 watts. So now that the plasma has striked, I'm going to bring it back down to about 300 watts. Where the plasma barely kisses the surface. There, then I'm going to leave it there for about 1 minute and 15 seconds to let it properly treat. Now I'm going to turn off the barrier and turn off the vacuum. Purge the valves. And now you have a hydrophilic PDMS surface. Before treatment, PDMS is hydrophobic. Notice how the water clumps together. After the plasma treatment, it is hydrophilic. The water now spreads out evenly on the surface.